What is up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. This is Moon Tribe Tarot. Welcome to Capricorn's reading from now, January 1st, 2020, to January 10th, 2020. Happy New Year. I've already gone ahead and shuffled your camera. Your camera. I've already gone ahead and shuffled your deck, your cards off camera. These are general messages only, which means take what resonates, leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages 100% correlate to your story, you can find all the information you need in the description box down below. Let's get right on with it. We have the King of Wands and the Knight of Cups for what is going for you, and then we have the Six of Pentacles for advice. So, right away, the these are both two different people. The King of Wands is... The King of Wands is of his higher self. He's the highest that he's going to get. He is a leader. He is somebody incredibly fiery and passionate. He likes to take on a lot of things at once. He can sometimes drop things because of that. Kind of almost like ADHD, but not really. He's very passionate. We make him a good leader. We make him a good husband, a father. Any, any kind of leader ability, kind of like the Emperor. He would be good with what he does at work, especially. And he would be good at any type of, like, if he was an artist or somebody in, in the music field, he would be good at that as well. And then we have the Knight of Cups, who is not his full power. He's in the middle, but he is kind of this hopeless romantic water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. He would be good with emotion, and he would be the, t the kind to pursue. He would be the kind of person to take take you out on dates, to sweet talk you, um, to make, to, he's, he would be good with his words, he'd be good with how to express emotion, but he is not of his higher self, and I'm saying these specifically because I feel like there are two different people coming in for you, Capricorn, I feel like this might be a situation where you have two people kind of vying for your attention, and I did not get the five of wands to clarify this, but I did get the six of pentacles, and the six of pentacles as advice really honestly says, so in general, the Six of Pentacles represents having things of an equal playing field, having things balanced. Um, but this card represents the haves and the have-nots, giving to those who are in need, in, or taking from those. That it more so just represents um, that the scales are balanced and that there is definitely a have and have-not kind of situation in this scenario. And the advice literally says, um, it, it, it says that you have the ability to help somebody, and you should, but you should be generous about it. If you look at the card, he's kind of very snobby. He kind of, he, he it's kind of that, I don't want to like, so welfare. It's kind of like food stamps where, or, or the, where they're giving out checks to those who they deem worthy of needing it. Or you're not poor enough, you don't get the help. Or you, you just make a little bit too much money and we're not going to give you the help but we're going to give it to that person it's kind of it's not I, I don't want to say that but it's kind of like that kind of energy where the person decides who he gives the resources to and it's usually either money or um, emotional abundance because it, it does deal with people i'm going to say is an emotional spread which i'm going to say is some sort of relationship um, where you are trying to keep things fair and balanced i don't know if you are with one of these, if you want one of these, if you want both of these people, but I definitely feel like at least one of them is coming in and wants to date you definitely, so you, one of them at least definitely has your eye on you, um, and it's between two different people. I feel like you're trying to decide what to do in the situation. I feel like you might kind of be feeling like this person, like, uh, I don't really know, like, who to pick. I don't really, like, I don't know what to do, but I like both of them, um, but the advice here is, when, when I say that the advice was to give help to people, I, I wasn't lying with that. There is definitely some sort of situation where you need to be treating them both equally in the sense, I don't mean equally in the sense as you date both of them, or hey, for some of you, you might, who knows, but I'm saying to treat them both fairly regardless of the outcome and that is your general message advice honestly things look pretty good um you kind of have your options open here i, def I don't see any negative energy in this at all so I, I definitely feel like either or would probably be it it's up to you and you have to decide who gets what in this situation but this is definitely a you have your options open kind of spread so congrats capricorn that's not a bad spread either so i will see you next time until then peace out